So I will over the lot. Hello everybody, it's your girl Jay and today I am here with my September TBR for 2021. I honestly do not know how much is going to be read this month because I literally just started a new job yesterday and it's very stressful and I am so overwhelmed with it so honestly I don't know how much reading is going to be done this month but if you are new to this channel then you do not know this but my mom actually picks my TBR every month and she always has a fun little theme that goes along with why she chose the books. So this month's theme is kind of out there. Um, I recently became obsessed with a show on Netflix called Girls Incarcerated, which is basically just very young children, girls, getting arrested and ending up in the juvie system and it's like their day-to-day -day life in juvie. But it is so addictive. I literally binged two seasons in two days. So my mom decided to base my entire TBR based off of that show. So without further ado, let us get started. The first book that she chose is Busted by Gina Sioka and this is because when the girls are on the show, it is because they were busted in whatever crime they committed and ended up on the show. So this is about a girl named Marissa who catches her best friend's boyfriend making out with someone else and that kind of kickstarts her career as a snoop photographer and catching cheating people in their relationships and so she is hired by her ex-best friend Kendall to spy on her boyfriend TJ. She ends up spending more time with TJ and starts to kind of have feelings for him and it seems that those feelings are mutual. She discovers a secret about TJ and Kendall that takes cheating to a whole new level and it's like the story of that. I also have a copy of this that the author actually annotated. This is the unannotated version of it. So I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to read this copy or if I'm going to read the one with the annotations. I have to find that copy because I don't know where it is on my shelves, but yeah, that's the first book. Second book is a book that I had on my August TBR and never actually read, so she chose it again. But it is Last Year's Mistake by Gina Sioka. I just realized these are the same authors. I didn't realize until just now. But she chose this because last year's mistake could end you up in jail. You never know. This follows a girl named Kelsey and a boy named David. They were best friends. And then Kelsey's family moves away when something bad happens and it's like their fresh start. Then a couple years later, David ends up moving to the same town Kelsey moved to. But now Kelsey has a whole new life, new boyfriend and everything. But she still has feelings for David. But yeah, like I said, this was on my TBR before. Never got to it. Maybe this is the month that it will happen. We will see. Next up is Feral Youth by Sean David Hutchinson. This is because most of the girls in that show are feral and need to be in jail for the things that they have done. This is a story about a like outdoor camp that is for like troubled children and it's kind of they're sent to this camp as a last resort to try to get them straightened out and basically they are brought into the middle of nowhere by their like counselors or whatever you want to call them and they're dropped there and they need to learn how to work together in order to survive and it's 10 different perspectives by 10 different young adult authors which I think is pretty cool. Each chapter is a different perspective where a child from this camp is telling a story. It's for a cash prize. All of the stories are told not to be true but it seems that there may be truth in a couple of the stories. I saw a lot of people haul this when it first came out but not a lot of people actually talk about it so I am intrigued. I do know a lot of these authors so I am interested to see what their writing is like in this but I also don't know some of these authors as well so I'm excited to meet some new authors as well. Next up is To Catch a Killer by Cheryl Scarborough and this is because many of the girls in this show are murderers, killers, you know that whole situation. This is about a girl named Erin who became a little bit famous when she was a very young child because she survived three days with her mother's murdered body so she was kind of thrown into the limelight at a very young age. Now 10 years later she discovers the body of her teacher and she is thrust into that world yet again. The investigation begins and she is keeping it to herself that she believes that her mother's killer strikes again and it's like the story of that. I don't know if she 
she helps the investigators or if she goes on her own little vigilante quest to catch the killer. I don't know. This is another one a lot of people hauled, never actually talked about, so I have no idea if it's good or not, but again, I'm excited. The next book that I have is another book that is on my TBR so many times, still have not picked it up, so maybe this is the month, but it is No Exit by Taylor Adams. This is because there's absolutely no exit once you enter that jail system. It's probably a cycle that is going to repeat, which is very sad, and hopefully it doesn't, but no exit in sight for a while. This follows a girl named Darby who, in the middle of a snowstorm, is trying to go visit her ailing mother. She stops at a remote rest station on the highway and there is a van there and she discovers that there is a child locked inside of an animal crate in the back. She has to decide what she's going to do about it. If she can help the child, who is the child? Who's the man that she is with? Is he like a serial killer? What's happening? Is he dangerous? And it's like the story of that. Um, a lot of people have read this book and seem to really like it or they really hate it. So we're gonna see where I fall on that spectrum. Hopefully I'm in the like category but we'll see when we read it. Next up is Release by Patrick Ness. This is because eventually those girls will be released back into their home, which is very exciting when that happens, and hopefully they will stay out. This follows a boy named Adam Thorne, whose whole world has kind of fallen apart. He's able to rely on his boyfriend and his best friend, Angela. It's basically the story of Adam and how he's having flashback memories and new heartaches. There's also a ghost that has just risen from a lake that is thrown into the synopsis there, so I don't know if it's a ghost story or a contemporary or a what, but I am definitely intrigued and I do really like this cover. I think it's really cool. But this is again another one that a lot of people hauled, never actually talked about it, so no idea if it's good yet again. Last one that I have is called The Homecoming and this is by Andrew Piper. This is because once the children are released from jail, they get to go home and that's very exciting. But this follows a family who, after the death of their absentee father, goes to their estate in order for the will to be read, and that is when they discover that the conditions for this will is that they all have to stay on this estate for 30 days, and if they are able to do that, then they get whatever is stated in the will. As they spend more time on this estate, they discover some secrets about their family that they didn't know, and it's like the story of that. The tagline is every family has secrets, but secrets can be a real killer, so I'm hoping that there's like a serial killer in the family that I didn't know about and people are gonna die, which sounds very morbid, but your girl loves her some serial killer books, so I'm here for it. I'm excited. Probably this one is the one I'm most excited for out of all of them. Alright everybody, so that was my September TBR for 2021. Like I said, I honestly do not know how much reading is going to be done. Currently, it is September 8th, the first day of school, for the little kiddos that I am now a supervisor for. So there is a lot of work and paperwork and admin stuff that I'm trying to get through. Learning a new job, don't know what the heck is going on, so it's been a whirlwind day. I was technically supposed to start that job uh, like two weeks ago for all the planning and I'm being thrown into it the first day of school. So it's been a lot of trying to figure things out while also having 51 children running around me. So yeah, don't know how much reading is going to be done. Let me know down below if you have read any of these books and what you thought of them and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!